Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is August 17th, 2023, and we're back in our daily Wordle. Our bonus puzzle today is Thirdle. And Wordle Word of the Week, Snafu. Alright, yielding an S. Uh, not really concerned at this point if that A doesn't go in the middle. Uh, I'm not worried about a double S any longer. Reason being here is that if it... Let's say we did S A and we got two yellows. I would do uh, A S S for something like brass or class. Um, but I'm no longer worried about that. I guess it could be something like gassy. Let's do that. Find out. Aha! There is a double S. Would it still go at the end? I guess uh, that original assumption of that A double S at the end not really work in there. We could do the word amiss still. There is the opportunity for another vowel. Look at that. All right. So that original assumption there of that double S at the end was actually correct. Bit of luck there for sure, undoubtedly. Let's find out from Wordlebot. <laughs> 83 skill, 84 luck. All right, that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, 62 words left after that. One word after gassy. It was indeed a miss. Uh, now, I want to go through the details here and find out how many double S's there were. Not that many, actually. Essay, assay, asset, abyss, a miss, gassy. Uh... Passe, mass, lasso. There were a few, but overall, uh, not, not a huge uh, majority of the remaining words. So that second S going for that. Oh, and I saw Oasis in there as well. Um, not, not a very large percentage of the remaining word is doing a double S. So. Uh, that's why 93 luck there, bringing it down to just one. Love it. All right. And tying Wordlebot. Uh, speaking of Oasis, uh, Wordlebot doing the same thing. A and S. Wordlebot checked for the uh, double S, and it checked for the I using Oasis. So interesting one there. A miss, 5.7, 29.8, 67.2, 90, and 97.8. So that double, once again, doubles are just a little bit more dangerous than anything else. So uh, we've got 2.2% here that probably missed because of that double S. It was. It, it is a slightly... Um, less common structure of that that word but overall not a super difficult one but that double s would be the, the primary cause of this so uh let's move on to thirdle all right and i do i'm gonna go with graph here i do like the idea of uh more consonants in these puzzles than vowels. I think that's much more helpful, especially when you have something like a P where you can throw an H next to it and, and uh, get those combinations here. So let's go with um, P L plaid. Speaking of vowels, if I do plaid there, should I go back and change this A to something else? Probably not. I'm not actually super worried about it. Um, and this is going to be a little bit strange, but I'm going to do the word quiet here just to get the U and E on the board as well as the T. So I, I wasn't really counting on the Q, although if it did show up, that would be a ton of information. Um, what do we have? We have P-L-A-I. This could be plain. Let's just start there. Uh, and once again, reminding purples are in the wrong word. 
So this is gonna, not going to be an R or a T. That means that there is a T in this word. And there is an R in this word. We can do crier. Should we check for a double P here? This P going in this spot, but not at the end, is a little interesting here. There isn't an A in this first puzzle, so it's not the word adept. So why don't we check for the word tippy, just in case there's a double P. Uh, there is not. T also doesn't go there. We did get the R right down here. At least one of the two R's that we put in. Um, what next? It also we also rolled out crypt with crier and tippy, so that's cool. Now I don't know if the S is ruled out in the same way that it would be in Wordle, so let's check that next. Let's check the word whoops. And then, how about fries? Let's do the same thing down here with that S. Okay. So this is going to be the word grief or brief. G is already ruled out, so this is going to be brief. And then up here... This has got to be the word swept. We, we got... Uh, all of our letters locked in now. There we are. Four out of six. Four seems to be very common for this one. Three and five equally as common. So that, was, that was a fun one today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone you think enjoys these kind of games. That's all for now, and we will see you all in the next one.